In this two-part video, we'll explore the velocity of a skydiver using one of MATLAB's built-in ODE solvers, ODE45. The first video will be more of a qualitative analysis using base portraits and anticipated solutions. The next video will actually solve the ODE numerically. Anyways, we have a skydiver who's initially at rest. He or she jumps out of a plane or something, and his or her velocity can be described by this equation here. You can actually derive this ODE on your own if you want using Newton's second law, but that's irrelevant. Whenever you see an ODE, you should always make note of the order and type, then sort of instinctively think about what solution method you're going to use or need. This is a first order ODE because the highest derivative term anywhere in the equation is just this first derivative, v dot. It's nonlinear because the dependent variable, v, is squared. When we draw the face portrait, it should reflect the nonlinearity. Here's the interesting part of the problem. When the skydiver jumps, the drag coefficient cd is initially 0.25 kilograms per meter. At some time t open, the drag coefficient changes to 5 kilograms per meter. That's a factor of 20, which is pretty large, but it's intuitive. If you're free falling, you have less air resistance than when you have a giant parachute attached to you. If you ever have less air resistance after you open the parachute, well, I wouldn't trust it. Eventually, we'll need to find a way to model the opening of the parachute. The drag coefficient is one value up until time t open, after which the value switches to something else. Where have we heard of a function that has one value until some time, then another value afterwards? I hope the heaviside, or unit step function, comes to mind. We know the unit step function has a value of 0, and then suddenly that value shifts to 1 at some switching point. Keep that in the back of your mind for now. Before we do any heavy side stuff, we need to determine the steady state velocity and draw the phase portrait. Part A wants us to determine the steady state velocity for two cases, if the chute does not open, and if the chute is always open. The term steady state has a very specific definition, but you actually already know what it means. Steady state is just the fancy term for fixed point, or more specifically, the stable fixed point. As you know, if a fixed point is stable, the solution to the ODE will eventually gravitate towards that fixed point as t approaches infinity. But instead of saying fixed point, you can also say steady state value because the solution is steady and doesn't really change that much. When the solution doesn't change, the derivative is zero, which is exactly what the fixed point is. Just to recap, whenever you see the word steady state, you should instinctively think of finding the fixed points. Let's find the fixed points by hand. Here we have the ODE, initial conditions, and axes for our phase portrait and anticipated solution. To sketch the phase portrait, we first need to find the fixed points. We do so by setting the derivative equal to zero and solving for v. When we set v dot equal to zero, we get vss equals the square root of mg over cd. The ss subscript denotes the steady state velocity. You might have heard this also called the terminal velocity in your physics 1 class. Because there are two potential cds, there are two steady state velocities. vss is inversely proportional to cd, so the terminal velocity when the parachute is closed is greater than when the parachute is open. This also makes sense because a parachute, with its high drag coefficient, acts to make you slow down. I drew the two steady state velocities at different points along the x-axis to denote the different values. Now let's fill in the rest of the phase portrait. We know that each curve will start at g, since plugging 0 into the v-dot equation results in g, then we play connect the dots. The equation resembles an inverted parabola, which is reflected in the phase portrait. Now we classify the fixed points. The portion from zero to each steady state velocity is positive, so we draw a right arrow. We draw a left arrow in the regions beyond VSS because the derivative is negative. The arrows converge to each steady state point, so they are stable.
This confirms the velocity over time will eventually settle to Vss. Now we can draw the anticipated solution. The skydiver is initially at rest, so we start from the origin and converge to Vss. This is all assuming the parachute is either fully open or fully closed, but since the parachute opened sometime during the flight, the true solution is going to be a hybrid of the two anticipated solutions. Maybe it'll look something like this. And that's the face portrait and anticipated solution. This is how we qualitatively solve the ODE. We'll use these to confirm our numerical answer, which we'll obtain in the next video. See you next time.